Fontaine was dust. And now here you are doing his dirty. I just said, Major Ryan. And you.
Don't need you for that. My family can't be more than a hundred yards away. I'll be part of Ryan's great chain. <laughs> Turns out Ryan's chain is made of gold, and ours are the sort with the big iron ball around your ankle. He's up in Fort Frolic banging fashion models. <sighs> We're down in this dump yanking guts out of fish. Fontaine's promising something better. He's like uh, one of us, you know? Like he's worked a day in his life. He says meet him at his service at 2011. I'll go, bring a couple of guys. Hey! <laughs> It's not like things could get a lot worse.
trying to sneak out like a thief for no CIA spook. Who are you? Why have you come here? There's two ways to deal with a mystery. Uncover it or eliminate it. Get out! Get out and get to Arcadia! Jesus Christ! You came to rob what you could never build. The hum gaping at the gates of Rome. Even the air you breathe sponged from my account. Well, breathe deep. Later, you might remember the taste. You get to the bathosphere in the Roland Hills. That'll take you straight to the devil himself. And then... All debts will be paid in full. The Irish pork pie offered me a deal. I flip him Fontaine and I walk out of here. That simple. How do I know that fat fuck isn't Fontaine's guy? How do I know they're not all Fontaine's guy? Fontaine's got Adam, and everybody wants it. Brian's got a whole lot of talk and a nice suit. Even down here, any idiot can see which way the wind is blowing. Seems like some poor blighters are starting to see ghosts. Ghosts! Ryan tells me the side effects of this plasmid business. One poor shot's memory is getting passed on to another through genetic sampling. Lakes, lunatics, rebellion, and now bleeding guns. Hey, life in Rapture Grand. The augmentation procedure is a success. The slugs alone could not provide enough atom for serious work, but combined with the host, now we have something. The slug is embedded in the lining of the host's stomach, and after the host feeds, we induce regurgitation. And then we have 20, 30 times yield of usable atom. The problem now is the shortage of hosts. Fontaine says patience, Thunderbolt. Soon, the first home for little sisters will open, and that problem will be solved. What a night I got lined up. Everything's ready. Flowers, bottle of wine, even two tickets to the tea garden. Nothing gets the Bettys in the mood like nighttime in Arcadia. Now I just gotta stop by the thrifty care to pick up a bit of just to be safe. Word is, this ain't Angelina's first visit to the tea garden. Thank <laughs> you. 
Arcadia was closed off to all but paying customers. The man hires me to build a forest at the bottom of the ocean and then turns a walk in the woods into a luxury. Riot asked, should a farmer not be able to sell his food? Is a potter not entitled to a profit from his pots? I started to argue with the man, and then I remembered who signed my checks. The only thing worse than a hypocrite is an unemployed one.
help me find this patient. Nurse! Gathering dark, you. you light a candle. You have saved the little ones when you might have shown your cruelty. I am sending something your way to demonstrate our thanks.
Parasites claimed that the land belonged to God and demanded that I establish a public park there. Why? So the rebel could stand slack-jawed under the canopy and pretend that it was paradise earned. When Congress moved to nationalize my forest, I burnt it to the ground. God did not plant the seeds of this Arcadia. I did. <laughs> Ryan's woman in Arcadia is an old Betty named Langford. 
An okay sort, but not above doing a dirty job for a dollar. If she's still kicking around, I'm sure she's gonna want to save her trees. After all, she planted the damn thing. Ideology, if it is not tested. The market does not respond like an infant, shrieking at the first sign of displeasure. The market is patient, and we must be.
to me about market forces and don't expect me to punish citizens for showing a little initiative. If you don't like what Fontaine is doing, well, I suggest you find a way to offer a better product. Galica? Oh, what are you waiting for? An engraved invitation? Send it through the new mode. Yes, this is perfect. Perfect. Come on up to my office. I'm ready. Now, I think I've got just the thing to put the green back in this forest. Isn't there anything in this damn place those pagans won't steal? Paper towels, ink pots, witch hazel, chlorophyll solution, even my back issues of National Geographic. They're feathering their disgusting little shrines with it, I suppose. Sick bastards. I couldn't believe how much things had changed since I left Dr. Steinman's office. It's like I don't even recognize Rapture no more. I hear they've been rounding up people in Paula Square. I asked Ryan how could he do such things to innocents. He said, innocents. If they haven't chosen to defend Rapture, they've chosen to side with Atlas and his bandits. So there are no innocents. There are heroes. And there are criminals. Who says you can't teach an old hound new tricks? 
This batty plant woman spends four years coming up with ways to defoliate trees in the Pacific to scare out the Japs, and now here I am, down at the bottom of the Atlantic, trying to figure out how to do the same thing in reverse. Adam, Adam, Adam. It's bathtub gin times the atom bomb times Eve with a serpent. Let's go see what it can do.